Mr. President, my name is Zainab Shukri Qolak. I'm Palestinian from the Gaza Strip. And by some miracle, I'm still alive to speak to you today. After the Israeli forces bombed my home during Israel's attack on Gaza in May 2021, I was badly wounded and remained under the rubble for 12 hours before I was pulled up. After I woke up to the shock of losing 22 members of my family, life and death became alike to me. The bombing killed my mother, Amal, my sister, Hannah, my brothers, Ahmed and Tahir, and my cousins and many other relatives. I can't name because I feel real pain in my chest recalling this memory. All the houses in our neighborhood were flattened, although not a single armed person was among us and no military actions were carried out from our area. We were a group of defenseless people, anxiously hearing the sounds of shelling, carried death with them. I know that my loss is too great to be compensated, but my mother, my sister, my brothers, my family were rest in peace only when the perpetrators are held accountable. Mr. President, I want to know what progress has been achieved by the commission of inquiry that you formed after the Israeli attack. Was it able to identify those responsible for wiping off my family? Will real actions be taken to prevent similar tragedies? I'm now 22 and I've lost 22 people. Will I lose more when my next birthday comes before the international community take tangible steps to bring me justice? Thank you.